Welcome friends to our Touch Art channel. Today we would like to introduce you to one of the greatest neo-impressionist artists, the famous national artist of Belgium Theodore van Rysselberghe. The artist worked for a long time in the style of pointillism and neo-impressionism, applying dotted strokes of pure, undiluted color to the canvas, creating exotic canvases depicting the inhabitants of Morocco, numerous portraits, landscapes with sailing ships and female subjects. Who has not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. A lot of interesting things await us ahead, let's go. Theodore van Rysselberghe was a Belgian Pointiest painter, graphic artist, and sculptor. A bright representative of Belgian painting of the late 19th century. Member of the avant-garde G20. He traveled extensively in Europe and Africa and maintained contacts with French neo-impressionist artists. Theodore van Rysselberghe was born on November 23, 1862 in Ghent, Belgium, into a wealthy family. His elder brother, Octave van Rysselberghe, was a famous architect. The future artist studied with James Enser at the Brussels Academy of Fine Arts. His teacher at the Academy was Jean-Francois Portel, an Orientalist artist, a representative of Classicism and Romanticism. Theo van Rysselberghe's early works, exhibited at the Brussels Salon in 1881, indicate the influence of Edouard Manet and Edgar Degas. In 1882, the artist made a long trip to Spain and Morocco, where he painted exotic canvases. In 1883, he was one of the founders of the Twenties Group, which united avant-garde artists, participates in the development of artistic ties between France and Belgium. During one of his trips to Paris, Van Rysselberghe met Georges Seurat and his Pointiest painting technique, which had a huge influence on the Belgians' work. Rysselberghe became interested in the ideas of pointillism and for more than 20 years, from 1890 to 1910, he painted in this style. One of the features of his technique is the combination of dots of different sizes in one picture. The artist uses large strokes for the background and large objects, and small strokes for detailing details and faces. By treating the background and other large surfaces with dots larger than those he used for details, in particular for the faces of the models, in the latter case, he used tiny dots, allowing for more subtle modeling. With this method, small dots at a certain distance completely disappeared, while larger ones were clearly visible. Rysselberge even combines the technique of separate strokes of pure shades with classically organized portraits of loved ones and friends, with academic poses and classical compositions. In 1897 he moved to Paris. Only after the death of his teacher and friend Jay Seurat did he gradually move away from pointillism. In 1910, the artist moved to the Mediterranean coast of France and in his last years, painted mainly female images. Theo van Rysselberghe is a key figure in the development of avant-garde movements in Belgium and in maintaining cultural ties with France. As the founder of the Twenty Group, which united innovative artists, he protested against the outdated academicism of the time and the limitations of artistic standards. Among the most famous members of the association were James Enser, Willie Finch, Fernand Knopf, and soon Auguste Rodin and Paul Signac. The creative heritage of the artist Theo van Rysselberghe is extremely diverse. The artist is known as a follower of the creative method of Georges Seurat, which was used in the form of dotted paints of pure color on the canvas. Having begun to paint in the strict traditions of realism, the artist soon moved on to more progressive methods of depiction. His palette goes from rather gloomy, mostly brown-red and black, to very light and festive. Inspired by Georges Seurat's theory of color relationships, Theo van Rysselberghe worked for a long time in the style of pointillism, applying dotted strokes of pure, undiluted color to the canvas. The first work in the new style was the famous portrait of Alice Seeg, 1888, executed in blue and gold tones. Also among his works, you can find exotic paintings depicting the inhabitants of Morocco, numerous portraits, landscapes with sailing ships, and female subjects. 
In addition to painting, Theo van Rysselberghe was engaged in graphic art, in particular, he created illustrations for the texts of the Belgian poet and playwright, one of the founders of symbolism, Emil Verheeren. In a similar manner, using initials, arabesques and illustration, Van Rysselberghe decorates some of the Society of Twenties exhibition catalogues. Late in his life, the artist also turned to portrait sculpture, working on the bronze head of André Gide. Van Rysselberghe died in St. Clair on December 14, 1926, and was buried in the Lou Lavendu Cemetery, next to his friend, the artist Henri Edmond Cross, much of the work of one of the greatest neo-impressionist artists is still kept in private collections and is rarely seen. In November 2005, Theo van Rysselberghe's Port de Set, 1892, was sold for a record 2.6 million euros at Sotheby's in New York.
with you is the Touch Art Channel and the work of the Belgian artist Theodore van Rysselberghe. We hope you like the artist's paintings and subscribe to our channel to be in the community of true art connoisseurs. Thank you.